people are always kind of curious what other people have for their bikes. So, let's start up. There's my trusty spot that I haven't even turned on yet. I should probably turn it on now. There we go. Then let's check in. Or not check in, but track at least. Come on. There we go. So we're tracking. And let's do a little check-in. Should send something. Should send something to Chris and me. So what do I got going here? Well, uh, let's start up here. So obviously, Garmin Zumo. I take this actually. I've got the same mount on my other two bikes as well so I just sort of take that with me when I travel and that's connected directly to the battery so it's not ideal because what it means is that if I I got to take it off every time <clears throat> I uh, turn the bike off just so it doesn't drain the battery these are some risers what are they rock rocks yeah rocks risers I just took these I had them from my old dual purpose and just went a little bit higher it works fine but Honestly, it's a uh, it's a little bit tight, you know when you're in full lockout It is pulling a little bit on the cables, but not too bad. These are what the second or third pair of bark busters I decided to go with the secret ones and then did the, the you know threaded it into the barn so you have that That thing that's a pain To do the threads, uh, but it is much stronger the only thing that I did what I didn't realize when I bought it is that I actually bought it for the the thicker bars not the thinner bars so anyways but it they work fine protected me last week and when I went down I do have the Renthal bar that I had to replace the stock bar that was a few months ago no it was six months ago probably uh, just from a fall in the front forks and this is what's causing me problems I got these through Hitchcock it's a the hard spring so I replaced the springs in the front forks and then bought these these caps from Hitchcock's as well but they're just not really working too well like they're whatever it's leaking so I got to figure that out uh, up here obviously you see the the ram um, or sorry the can't remember what these things are called you guys know what they're called but anyways through these uh great mirrors that are adjustable and they don't break on you what i have here oh this is great this is from via terra gear from india these great little side bags that attach to your kind of that rack on the hemi great uh real easy they were pretty cheap too they weren't weren't that expensive so that was easy the pegs the pegs are obviously not stock they're actually, I think, pegs from their aftermarket pegs off of Amazon for a 390, uh, KTM 390. They're not perfect because they kind of, you know, tilt a little bit forward, but it's a bigger footprint than what I have. Also from Via Terra, as I got this, you know, bottom plate, bigger plate. I have it, I, you know, it doesn't really doesn't really do much i don't think it you know really adds sort of anything and the other side over here again from i think just regular from from amazon or ebay coming somewhere from india is you know these black plates here you know a little protective uh, thing there the risers from hitchcock which is kind of pointless because i think you can go to any base hardware and kind of pick these things up anyways <laughs> so it's kind of ridiculous like i said i do i did buy new tires so the Shinko 804, 805s are coming in, and I'll replace those. So I do have, this is the Royal Enfield rack. Uh, just, you know, bought it from the dealership, installed it myself. This is a great thing to have just because it just protects the bike more when it, when it goes down. Which also leads me to, God, what's the brand? HTP Happy Trails, I think. Anyway, it's a hilarious name, but this thing's great. Really kind of the first week I was out on the bike, um took it on some kind of trails like what i was on today anyways my uh exhaust took a beating uh like this pipe got all bent and everything so i pretty much went out and got that right away and then i haven't felt any need to get any kind of other crash bars like this thing really helps this protects a lot the other thing that i have here is uh i did replace this pipe right here uh i think it's with a dell 
Delkevich. Delvetic, I can't remember how you pronounce it. I bought their exhaust as well, pretty much beat the crap out of it in a couple of months and realized I needed to put the stock exhaust back on again. So it's it's their pipe, not the original pipe, but the original Hemi exhaust, um, and it's fine. And really, I don't think it did much in terms of any kind of horsepower or anything. It made it sound different, but uh, that's it. These uh, bags, again, Rock Bros bags, uh, Got them from Amazon. They were like probably our hundred bucks. Um, I just needed something to be able to throw something in here. And then the Givy uh, thing on the back here, what I don't have with me is the top box. Uh, again, that was just something I brought over from a, another motorcycle that I had and um, just figured I'd, I'd install it here. It's, you know, it's great. It's nice and big. Stores, you know, easy to throw a bag in there and, and stuff like that. That was, I think that's kind of it in terms of what I sort of redid um, or the changes sort of to the bike. As you can see, it, 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 it's been, crap's been beaten out of it. Um, here's what I love. Yeah, my, this is the ABS cable. So that, that, I broke that probably in the first, you know, few weeks of riding this thing. What happens is I used to have uh, another guard on here and because the front suspension is so soft, you know, it would, the, the, it would just, I'd be going downhill with the brakes and it would just bottom out and it would, the guard that was here would just rub up against us and eventually just free, you know, right through. And then there's a light bulb. I just replaced the light bulb. Much brighter, bluer. This was, you know, something off of Amazon. I pretty much just, you know, Googled the, the specs of what that light bulb was and found it and it was like cheap probably less than a hundred bucks that's probably it I think that's all the changes that I've got there so okay oh. let's see what we can do for our leaky forks We're going to loosen a couple of things here. I swear they put red Loctite on everything. So why am I taking this off? I just took it off last week. I did not play around with You guys hear the burrows? Every now and again they cry. Let's see if we can see them at all. They were all over there. Oh, there's only, oh, are they still there? I think I see one. Don't know where they are right now. It's not like doing a little bit of maintenance on the side of a trail. Great view though. That's good enough. Go. Okay. That's that. We're going to leave that oily rag in there. Good. This was a great, this is a great little tool bag that came with actually my other climb back and back. Pretty practical. Okay. Good stuff. Roll these guys up. 